Hello! Jacob here again. Today, we're doing another episode of The Spotlight. Today, we're looking at a game called Standby. Now, <clears throat> this is a game which came out on the 7th of January 2017, and it's currently only got 19 user, review, um, user reviews on Steam. So, it's a game which hasn't really got a lot of uh, attention on Steam. Came out, uh, what we are now, yeah, came out about two weeks ago, so. Um, yeah, looking for the Steam releases in the, in the new year, and there's not really a whole lot that's much good, but this one looks pretty good, so I bought it. It's uh, £5.59 on Steam right now, so about $8 or so. So it's a fairly cheap game. I've uh, played the game for about half an hour or so. Um, it is a precision platformer. Uh, it's quite good, actually. So uh, let's actually uh, get back into it, and I will show the game off. So there are six sections as you can see here I've cleared section one section two uh, made it to section three there's section four five and six um the first section is kind of a fairly more of a kind of tutorial kind of section really and uh, the game kind of really kicks off when you get to section two um so let's get start with section three uh let's uh, get into it so we're playing this character here this kind of guy here on the wearing the green t-shirt and we have to clear each stage as quickly as we can, basically. That's the that's basically what there is to the game, really. Uh, so that's the first stage clear there. This, the uh, stages are pretty short. Um, some of them do take quite a, lot, quite a while to beat, because you will die a lot. That was quite an easy one. Uh, you see there, the, that was took 13 seconds. The target time is 4 seconds. Uh, 4.1 uh, 4 seconds, and our record is 5.5 .5 seconds. Just uh, have another go, see if I can, how quickly I can do it. So we have to jump here, see if we... And we have to uh, press the jump button again in the squares to uh, to break the the wall to get through. Uh, we also have to collect these kind of cubes as well while we're at it. So to kind of perfect, to kind of get the level perfect, you have to kind of uh, collect all the cubes and kind of beat it in the under the part time as well. It's quite difficult actually. Uh, we'll have one more go and then we'll move on to the next one. Shit! Oh, fuck that. Up. Okay, we got that. Ah oh, shit! So uh, you see that there's red, those kind of red things on the ceiling and the floor. If you hit those, you you die. You die. But you can slide across them. Uh, we'll show off the slide in a second. Let's have one more go at this stage. They're dead. Okay. So uh, we'll just move on to the next stage here. Uh, okay. So let's resume. Go to three, two. Uh, okay. So you can wall jump in the game as well. And you can also slide. Oh shit! You can slide and you can. Oh shit! We're dead. Uh, you can slide, and you can also shoot. You can shoot a gun. So you can see that kind of yellow barrier down there. You have to actually shoot that. But if you are, if you're, you can't use it when you're. If you're running, you can't shoot. You have to slide to shoot. Shit! It's okay, so get up here. Then go break the barrier. Then go down here. Ah, fuck! So when you are when you jump, you actually can't change your. Uh, momentum in the air, so once you jump, you're gonna have to commit to it, which is something a bit different actually. Most games kind of let you kind of control your, your character in the air, but this game doesn't actually let you do that, which is uh, I do look, I do quite like that. The only problem is it's gonna make things. Okay, like side through there. Um, how are we gonna get? Ah, okay, I think I see what to do here. Um, yeah, because we because there's that red thing on the wall there. We can actually wall jump there, but I think if we jump at the end of the slide, we should be able to, to make it up. Um, yeah, not being able to control your character mid-air just kind of make for the game kind of frustrating sometimes because... Ah, fuck. Um, yeah, obviously, like I said, most games can let you do it and it's kind of almost kind of like muscle memory at this point and it's kind of just make the game a little bit weird. Uh, how do we get up there? Um, I'm not sure how we actually get up there. Uh, let's try again. So each stage, kind of, each stage kind of is kind of a little puzzle you have to solve. Um, yeah, how do we get up there? Hmm, I'm not sure how we actually get up there, to be honest. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you see, that's kind of frustrating because because uh, I jumped off, because I walked off the edge there. I couldn't control my character in midair, so I just died. And that does happen quite a lot, which is a little bit irritating. But you do get used to it after a while. I died there because of it again. You have to be really careful, kind of walking on edges. If you fall off an edge, you will just fall, and you can't control your character. We'll get through there. Oh, that doesn't work. 
on the second stage of the video and already already stuck. Which is a bit irritating. Ah, oh, God. Like, so if we... If we... Fuck. I'm actually completely stuck here. I don't know what to, uh, what to do here. We can get through here. We can jump up there. But then we just hit the red the red thing. Um see if we can actually skip this stage. That's yeah, locked. So we beat this one. Um, I might have to actually try and figure this out and then come back, I think, because I'm pretty stuck here for some reason. Get through there using that. Hmm. Yeah, I've actually got no idea how we get up there at the moment. I'm missing something somewhere. Hmm. What am I missing here? Okay, I'm going to figure this out and then I'm going to come back because this is going to be. Uh, it's not going to be very fun to watch me just dying here over and over again. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I made it. Oh shit, I just killed myself. Uh, okay, so I think I figured out a way to get up there now. Um, so basically, we're going to go down here, not die in the process. So if we very slowly make our way up here, over to the left here, and then we die. Uh, didn't mean to do that. I'm, I'm sure there's probably a fast way to do this than this, but this is uh, managed to make it up there. If you just go to the left here, and then you very slowly walk off the edge. A little bit more, then we do that, and then we can slide up. Okay, so I'm sure that's what the way you're supposed to do it, but uh, we're going to take it. There you go. So uh, yeah, jump through here, hit the double jump there. Now, if you hit the blue wall there, you do you will do a, uh, a jump to the side like that, and we actually just died again. Let's try again. So yeah, the, the stage is kind of all about oh god, the game is kind of all about kind of figuring out how to get through the stage, and then once you're going to figure it out, you kind of have to kind of combo all the moves together kind of perfectly to kind of nail the stage. Um, it is pretty frustrating. Like I said, you will die a lot. I've died, well, I've died a ton of times on this stage already. Yeah, like I said, if you jump, when you kind of, you're kind of li when you just kind of slide across the red bit there, you're going to lose your, your momentum at the end, so you can't quite make the jump, but, um, there we go. So, do that. I oh, missed the double jump. Okay. There we go. So, slide, bowel bounce. Ah, oh, shit, fucked up. But each stage, you will kind of die a lot. Once you kind of nail the, once you kind of nail the, once you kind of nail the solution and you kind of nail it, it is pretty damn satisfying to, to kind of pull it off. So I think you can kind of slide it, do it all in one motion, but um, it's quite tricky to pull off. So we're just going to do it like this. Now we're getting quite a terrible time here, but I just want to actually just clear the stage to the next one because it's going to make for kind of a bit of a boring video, really. If we, uh... there we go, nice, and up there. Oh no, oh, no, yes, we made it through. Whew. Nice. Um, so it took 28 seconds. Our target time was 12. We did get six of the keys though. Let's uh, go to the next stage. I'm just going to go to the stages just, just to kind of show the game off. Uh, I think here we have to do a wall. Ah, shit, okay. I think we have to do a, a uh, slam here, I think. Um, but yeah, the game does have leaderboards. It seems like the kind of games. Um, the kind of games. Kind of main. Oh, shit. I think we have, we have to jump there after sliding. But the game's main selling point is being a kind of speedrunning game, it seems. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Because the. I keep messing that up. Actually, picking the game stage stages is going to take all that long because um, died again. Playing this game and talking at the same time is pretty difficult. Uh, there we go, nice, quite at that time. Okay, we don't can't do that. I think we have to wall jump out there. Um, yeah, it took me about half an hour to clear the first two sections. So, I'd probably said actually clearing the game probably only takes a couple of hours. I'd say, I had to guess. Okay, let's try and get that. Nice. Okay, so then we can. Slide over the red bit, maybe. Ah, fuck. Fucked up. Yeah, creating the game might only take you like two or three hours, but there is quite a bit of... No, we don't want to slam there. That's not the that's not the right way to do it. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, actually, there is quite a bit of replay value. Kind of replaying the stages, obviously. Trying to get like a really, really fast time. And there are kind of leaderboards. I'll show this off in a minute, the leaderboards. Okay, got that. There we go, nice. So if we... Uh, we want to just slide over the red bit here. Nope. Fucked it up. 
Well, that bit's quite difficult. Ah, that bit's quite difficult as well. Actually, I've got, you already got a short window to jump. There we go, nice, hit it that time. As you can see here, once you kind of get a bit of momentum behind, you kind of really fly through the levels, and it is the characters that really satisfy. Oh, nice, did it then. Uh, the characters are kind of really satisfying to control. He, uh, he's really responsive, um, and he just kind of moves really fast. Like I said, the only really problem I got is just the way he kind of. Um, oh shit! The way he kind of. Well, it's not really a problem, but um, personally, I'm not really a fan of. Uh, of the kind of not being able to move a character. Oh shit. I'm almost back to the end there. Not being able to move your character mid-air. Personally, I mean, I kind of understand from a design perspective why they did that, but I'm not really a fan of it myself. I kind of find it a bit kind of frustrating, to be honest. Fuck that up. Okay, I think we've got it now, anyway. Um, hopefully, this is, you want to try and get through this, some of these stages a bit quicker, just to kind of make the video not that long. Because um, the second section only had nine stages, so I'm guessing this one probably has about the same. Okay, nice, jump up. Cross like that. There we go. Oh, I've messed with that. Ah, God. Ah, shit. Fuck that up. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna uh, go quiet now and try and beat the stage because talking is gonna uh, make it more difficult. There we go. Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, great this time. Here, go double jump. Jump off there. Slam down. Just go up. Do that. Go get cross. Oh, ah, shit. Need to slide there. I think. I got it this time. Ooh, too high. I'm quite a big fan of the game's kind of visual style. There's a lot of uh, colour going on, which I'm quite a big fan of. Um, I kind of like all the how kind of uh, you know the character kind of has these kind of sparks flying off him and stuff. It's quite nice. Quite a nice look. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Do that. Nice. Get across. Nice. Ah, shit. Didn't mean to do that. You almost got the stage now, I think. Nice, get through there, slide, jump, hit the double jump, come down, slam down, nice, up we go. Do that, nice, get across. Double jump, nice. Yes, we made it. Ooh, yes. Ooh, we almost uh, beat the part time as well. And we got all the keys, so there we go, next stage. So as you can see there, once you once you kinda of nail once you kinda of nail it, it's pretty satisfying to uh, kinda of pull it off. Like the character you kinda of feel like, you know, a bit like a bit of a ninja when you kinda of finally pull off the kind of stage. There we go, nice. Jump across there. Ah, shit. Okay, I have to time these jumps between the laser beams here. Fuck. Okay, that's not quite right. Nope. I'm, I'm messing up here. Okay, I think we have to slam down, I guess, on the ledge here, I guess. Ah, fuck. This is a little bit tricky. Um, these stages are... Well, they seem like they're more difficult than the ones from the section two, but it could just be because I'm doing this video is making it more difficult. Okay, let's try and get through this section now. Ah, mess that up, mess the timing up on that. Oh fuck! Ah, just missed. Just didn't quite get through there. Ah, God. It's kind of a shame this game hasn't really got that much attention because it is pretty good, I'd say. Um, it kind of just has a. I mean, it's fairly simple in a lot of ways. Like, there's not kind of anything kind of crazy going on, but the character is just kind of very. The uh, character is just kind of very satisfying to control, and the levels are well designed. I mean, it doesn't really need a whole lot else to it, really. I mean, I suppose other games, kind of other games in this kind of genre, have kind of. Kind of hidden, hidden levels and kind of hidden characters and stuff. Um, this game is kind of focused complete, completely on just kind of beating the, beating the stages. Um, anyway, let's try and get through this bit section now because uh, talking is making it more difficult. Okay, I've got a time this right. There we go, I got through that time. Ah, man, the timing on that is rough. This first one's not too hard. Man, you've got to be quick there. Nice. Nice, got through that time. Double jump up here. Ah, shit. Okay. Be a bit careful there. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, okay. Ah, 
Ah, God. Ugh. There we go, nice. Got through that that time. Be a bit careful here. Nice. Ah, shh. Ah. Ah, fuck, fuck that. Press the wrong button. Ah, God. No, no. It's got a pretty decent soundtrack as well. Nice kind of thumping kind of background music. Nothing kind of too out of the ordinary really, but gets the job done. No, nope, mess that up. Ah, oh, God. Nope. Nice, nice. Got that time. Right, okay, let's not mess this bit up now. Nice, got through that time. Now, uh, what do I gotta do here? Okay, slam down here. Okay, slide across, slam down, slide across, slam down. No, messed it up! Ah, oh, messed it right at the end! Fuck. Okay, we got it this time. This video might be a bit longer than I was planning. I was planning, this video, planning for this video to be quite a short one, but it's taken a, it's taken a while. I swear I was doing better when I wasn't uh, recording me playing. Ah, come on. Nice, got through that time. Nice. Okay, double jump up here. Down. Okay, let's go down here. Slide across, slam down, slide across, slam down. Jump! No! No! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, God. Okay. Okay, if I don't do it this time, I think I will just cut to my uh, successful run here because I don't want the video to be too long here. Nope. So, one more good go, and if not, I'll uh, cut ahead, I think. Nope. Okay, go for that there. There we go, nice. Well, the, the first bit's a tricky part. After that's not too bad. Nice. This bit's not too difficult. Slide across, slam down. Slide across, slam down. Jump. Nope. No, okay. Uh, I'll be back once I clear the stage, I think, because you've seen how the stage works now. Okay, so I got through the stage. Um, took me a few goes actually to get through, but we made it. Made it through. So let's go. We on to the next one. What are we on now? Three. I can't remember what stage we're on now. Is it three, four? I think. I hope we've on more than that. Okay, we've got to get through this laser. We've got to do here. There must be a double jump up here somewhere. Oh shit! Fuck that. Up. Um, so yeah, there isn't really a whole lot else to really, really to the game really. It's just kind of a. Uh... There we go. So we have to yeah, hit that box up there. Shit, fuck. Um, yeah, it's kind of just uh, playing stages over and over again. Do it as quick as you can. The game does a pretty good job of kind of keeping it interesting as you go through. Um, these kind of double jump boxes were in the first two sections. They introduced those in section three. So each kind of area has a kind of new kind of mechanic to it, it seems. It's going to keep it a bit interesting. Okay, let's get through here. You have to actually slide through, I think. No. It's, a, bit, it's a, a little bit tricky. It's kind of shit not really like there are no checkpoints, obviously. But would uh, this kind of go for more for the kind of Super Meat Boy kind of feel to it, where you have to kind of clear the stage in one life? But this gonna kind of make things a little bit difficult. There we go. Nice, got through there. Jump, get a double jump. Nice. Do that. Do that. No. No. Ah, fucked it up. Seems so well then as as well. Uh, I'm not too worried about my time. I just want to get through the stages, really. That's kind of all I'm really, really worried about. As you can see, if you're kind of into speed running, this is kind of a pretty good game to pick up, I think. Okay, get through there. Do that. Nice. Let's have that. Double jump. Nice. Slide through. To go too fast. Fuck it up. Let's have another go. Nope. 
No. Oh, no, we did it. No, we didn't. Ooh, almost. You have to have a lot of confidence in this game. Like, um, hesitate and we'll, uh, you will just end up dying if you hesitate. Mess that up. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh. Ah, ah, come on. Ah, no. Got a lot of that time, I think. Yep, nice. Do that. Double jump. Nice slide. Slide. No! Ah, shit. Yeah, the uh, the way the game's designed, it is kind of, uh, obviously not being able to move a character in the air is kind of deliberate, because the... I think a lot of the stages would be a lot easier if you could move your character mid-air. Once you get used to it, it's, uh, it's mostly fine once you kind of get used to it, though. Okay, let's try and get through here again. Okay, get through there. Jump through, nice. Got that. Let's go down. Shoot. Jump. Slide. Nice. Got that time. Nice. Double jump. Nice. Slide. No. Ah, oh, no. The levels are actually starting to get longer as well. Like, um, the levels in the kind of area sections were a lot shorter. I think we've got this now. No. Fuck that up. Yeah, the problem is the longer the levels are, the more difficult it is because you obviously have to do it all in one life. Jump, double jump, slide, get up here. Go okay, nice. Go slide, jump, jump. No, no. Oh, that's close. Okay, got it this time. Nice! Ooh, made it! Ooh, nice. 29 seconds. Not great. We did get all the keys, though. So let's move on to the next stage. Okay, double jump here. Slam down. Okay, slide through the laser beams here. Nice, not too difficult. Hmm, okay, we have to try and jump this way, is it? No. Nope. Okay, that. Um... So what do we do here, then? Uh, oh, no, if you hit this, I think you have to hit the blue one up here, I think, first. No? Okay. Ah, jump. Nope. Um, hmm. A little bit stuck here, to be honest. Hmm. Not entirely sure what we have to do there, to be honest. Nope, fucked that up. Fucked that up again. Nice, get through that time. Let's take our time. A little bit too fast there. Slide through. Okay, I think I know what to do now. I think I have to do that and then that, maybe? No, no. Yeah, as you can see, it is kind of all about kind of figuring the stage out. Once you've kind of got the, the layout of the stage figured out, it's not really that difficult to actually beat the stage and kind of combo it all together. There we go. That's better. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, I jumped there. Didn't mean to. Okay, so we've got this now. So now we know what to do. This bit's going to be... It's going to be a bit easier to get through this section now. I say that as I die twice, but... Uh, there we go. Nice. Got through. Get through there. So how did we... How did we get up here last time? No. Um, how did I get up there before? Uh, oh, no. Oh god, I just keep dying. It's uh, kind of embarrassing, actually. Nice, got to live through that time. Slide through. As soon as I can't get up there. Um, am I hitting the slide too early? There we go. Nice, so we go up here. Through there. Nope. We need to do that. Okay, so we, uh, I think we're getting close to the end of this stage now. Slide through. Nice. Get the slide on the... There we go. Nice. Jump across. Jump over here. Oh, missed it. Okay. There we go. Nice. Hit the jump. Oh! No. Missed it. 
So yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of timing involved. You're just kind of timing your your jumps and your button presses just at the right moment to kind of hit the uh, switch or the jump or whatever. There we go, nice. Hit the blue hit the blue jump. We're gonna get across. Hit that, there we go, nice. Jump up. There we go, nice. Hit that time. Now we have to be a little bit careful here. Ah, jumped a little bit too soon. So when you uh, you want to hit the uh, you need to wall jump up there, but at the, just at the right time to not hit the the barrier. Okay, we've got this time. Nice, down we go. Hit that. There we go. Nice. Hit up here. We go. There we go. We hit it here. There we go. Nice. So we have to now just slide across, and we've done it. And there we go. Whew. Not a very fast time, but uh, yeah, that's three six done. So. Um, it's probably it's around three seven, so there's probably maybe about four more stages to this area. So let's uh, get through. Okay, so uh... no, no, it's, it's uh, got to be pretty quick here getting through. I think. No, no, I get away through slowly here. Slowly, slowly does it. No. The one thing that's quite cool is how the background colour kind of changes as you kind of go along. As you can see, when it slides, it kind of goes to orange in the background. It's, it is uh, quite nice. It does have a little warning at the beginning about the about kind of uh, epilepsy at the beginning, but um, I think they kind of. Well, the game kind of just has kind of everything going for it, really. Like, uh, there's nothing kind of really to complain about. Like, good level design, pretty decent music and visuals, and uh, solid controls. I mean, there's not really that much to really complain about, really. So let's go down here. But, um, like I said, the kind of visuals aren't really that important, really. Like, this game could be, could be like really ugly, and it wouldn't really matter, just because the kind of fundamentals of the kind of controls are kind of, and uh, the kind of level design is kind of nailed it down so good that it doesn't really make that much difference. It's just kind of a nice little extra that the game kind of looks and plays quite well. Um, looks and sounds quite good. I mean, ah oh, man, the timing on that's pretty tough. I mean, the game of difficult isn't really. Uh, I mean, I guess it's fine. It's kind of to be expected for this kind of genre. But um, man, I've got to, yeah, got to slow down a bit on the second one. Does it give much time to get through that bit there? Oh God, come on! Oh God, no! Yeah, this game is uh, it's it's pretty pr it's uh, pretty brutal. Oh, come on, come on! Oh, I can't get through there. I did it before. Nice. No, oh, come on. Nice, nice. Ah. Oh. I've got to slow down on that second one. Oh, come on! I can't get through here. Alright, come on. Nice, got it that time. Go down. Go. There we go. Um. Okay, so I have to jump here to get across. There we go, nice. No! Oh, almost, almost fucked it up there. Let's go back down. We have to get back down here, I think. No! No! Oh, I died on the last one! Wow, okay. You almost, almost don't know. Um, if I don't do it this time, I will uh, edit this stage out, I think. Nice, okay. I've got through that bit, okay. This bit's not too bad. Go up here. Go over to here. Let's get it just right. There we go, nice. Up we go. Oh, fuck. Okay. One more go, uh, and then we'll uh, cut ahead, I think. Mm. One more proper go. Nice. 
down. Nice. Okay, so let's just get through this bit and we're done. Yeah, there we go. Did it. Okay, so that's 3-7. Let's do, uh, move on to 3-8 here. We'll just get a clear section free and then we'll uh, wrap the video up because um, there's not really much else I can really say about the game, to be honest. Nice. Ah, fuck. Okay, we'll do slow down there a little bit. Okay, nice. Okay, we have to, uh, yeah, we have to be a bit careful here. We have to uh, slow down in between sections here, it seems. Jump, slam down, messed it up. Oh, too fast. Quite liking this track on this uh, this stage here. There it is. Ah, oh, I almost made it then. Almost made it. As you see, it is like really beating the part time on these stages is really difficult because you have to like really really book it to get through. Um, you basically just can't stop. You have to do, have to do like, like a perfect perfect run, but I'm uh, not good enough to do that. I think not when I'm recording anyway. Nah, fucked up. I think we could do this one though. Nope, messed that up. Uh, I forgot I forgot to mention actually the name of the developer who made this when I uh, got the video, so I'll I mention him at the end. Yeah, I think this game is well worth checking out though for the for the price. I think you're getting pretty good, uh, pretty good value for your money for all your five of this game. Fuck that up. There you go, jump down, nice, nice. Ah, okay. We need to try and slow down there at the end. Not sure how we're going to do it though. Oh, missed that. Nope. It's kind of curious as, as to why this game kind of didn't really get that much attention. Maybe it's because um, I don't think a game's title does kind of will kind of determine how well it does to a certain degree. Like. Um, Obviously, this game's called Standby, and it's kind of a little bit of a generic title. Okay, so you can actually stop our slide mid uh, mid slide. So do that at the end. Let's go through this stage. Yeah, like I said, maybe it's just kind of the title or something like like I don't know. Maybe just kind of Standby just doesn't really stand out in the store page. That's why you know it didn't really do that well. So there we go. So we stop here. Slide through, and we've done it. Okay, that's uh. We want to the next one. Oh shit. Let's get through. Fuck that. that. Um, let's just get through these stages, then we'll uh, wrap up the video. Because I've kind of run out of things to say, to be honest. I don't need to jump there. It's quite a simple game, as you can obviously, as you can tell. Even though I do, uh, even though I'm quite a big fan of the game, it is quite a you know, there's not really a ton to really say about it. Okay. I think we have to do a slam here, I think. Now we need to slide up, because if we, we can't jump up, we won't have enough momentum to make it. Um... Oh, there we go. Is that enough? No, okay. Oh, nope, like that. Hmm, okay, that's a bit, still a bit tricky there. You really need some momentum to get up there. Oh, man, not enough. Mess that up. Press the wrong button. No, no. Didn't work. Oh, come on. Let's get through this stage. Got a little bit, nice bit of relaxing music now in the background. No, I can't get up there. Um... Oh, I just can't quite get enough momentum to get up there. Um... Maybe if we if we, if we slide from here, that'll be enough. No. A 
Yeah, I am quite a big fan of this game. It is kind of a... It is a bit of a crime this game didn't do that well when it launched. But, um, you know, hopefully a few of you watching this will kind of, you know, pick it up and give it a chance. Get through there. Slide through. Hmm. How do you get through here? Uh, I might have to actually uh, edit this bit out because I'm a bit stuck, to be honest. Yeah, a bit stuck on that one. Might have to. Uh, might come back when I get past. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. So I've actually realised. I'm actually really, really stupid, but you can actually just get up there just by sliding up the wall like that. Um, I was trying. I, I think you have to get momentum from the left side and take it up to the right, but that works. Um, so I'm stood here. I'm actually managed to just say that the game is actually running a pretty much a rock solid 60 frames a second, which is a big positive for the game because a game like this. I'm kind of having frame dips or anything like that would kind of be a big negative, but this game is a pretty much rock solid 60, so that's a kind of big positive for the game, I think. Um, just trying to get through here. Nice, we made it for the stage. Um, so that's actually, I think that's actually all the yeah we're on four one now. Um, so I'll go back to the menu, I think. That was quite a good stage actually, that last one. Um, so here are the leaderboards. Basically, uh, it kind of there's a list of leaderboards who can kind of clear each section the quickest, so. Um, I guess somebody here cleared section one in 12 seconds, which is kind of crazy. I'm guessing that's like, I guess he like was a hacked it because number two is on 58. Um, yeah, the game's kind of a uh, the leaderboards are a little bit weird to uh, navigate because I don't think you can actually. It doesn't seem that you can actually um, go past the top eight. It doesn't seem. It seems that only lists the top eight in the world for some reason. Um, you can change to friends, but it's just got nothing on here at the moment. Yeah, that's kind of a. Uh, the leaderboards are nice touches because it kind of gives a kind of nice reason to actually, um, you know, play the game. Uh, you know, kind of play the game again gives, gives it a bit of replay value after kind of, you know, being all the le all the levels. Um, let's go back anyway. And um, yeah, that's kind of all there is to the game really. Um, let me quick look at section four. So wrap up. That's uh, anyway. That's um. Ooh, what's this do? I can actually speed you up. Ooh, look at this. Easy. This is quite cool. Nice new mechanic in the game here. So I'm quite a big fan of standby, to be honest. It's kind of a shame they didn't really do all that well. Because, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, there's not really much to complain about. The game kind of has a really nice kind of style. looks really good. Sound, kind of nice music and sounds good. Nice level design, controls and all that kind of stuff. And, and yeah, the game's just kind of got a really nice kind of sense of style to it. You know, like, it's kind of stylish and... It's kind of really satisfying to kind of pull off all these kind of high-speed moves, and it's just kind of a really nice little game, and it's and it's really cheap as well, and it's kind of just a shame that the game kind of didn't really do all that well, really. So, yeah. Anyway, go go and check it out on Steam. It's only uh, it's uh, only came out a couple of weeks ago. Stand by, um, all one word. Um, just just clear this stage, and I will uh, wrap up the video. I think because we're getting pretty close to finishing it. This is quite an easy one, it seems. Slide here. Hit that, hit that there. And then the game does quite a good job of kind of fixing up a little bit, kind of adding new mechanics as well. And yeah, it's, it's really good, I think. Um, it's actually, I could probably charge more for this game, to be honest. I mean, I guess they kind of went for the kind of cheaper route just because the game doesn't have um, a ton of content in it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, standby. Let's go back to the me uh, menu. Um, it's just uh, mentioned the developer because I actually forgot at the beginning of the video. It is. Um, the game was made by uh, a studio called No Clip, published by Hope Train Digital. Yeah, only five pounds fifty-nine, or about, uh, about eight dollars or so. Um, yeah, really good, I think. Um, well worth a look. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. Really, it's kind of a shame it didn't really do that well when it came out, but we can change that and get on it. Um, that's standby. I've been Jacob. This has been a uh, never episode of the Spotlight where I look at games on Steam which don't really get much attention, but you probably should have a look at. Um, well, I'll see you next episode where I'll be looking at every game on Steam. And uh, for now, you can do a like, comment, and all that bullshit. And I'll see you in the next video. So uh, yeah, bye for now. Bye. Go have a look at Standby.